Well, first of all, how do you think the coach will handle the ice baths? <laughs> well, I'm not sure he would have done many in his day, so it might be a little bit hard, but um, I'm sure he'll do a good job with just, you know, we're all watching us for a great cause. And, you know, Neil was at the club for wow, four or five years and he's had a great impact on us, but um, in the general footy um, community, I think. Uh, tell us a bit about Neil. I mean, you would have had some interaction with him. And yep. From the outside, we, we just see him as one of the greatest people alive. Yeah, well, you then you, you learn about his history and um, the Danaher history of playing all those games. So it's great to be able to have an opportunity to be able to you know, interact and pick his brain, someone like him. He um, he understood the game well, took it pretty seriously, but also he could also see the humour inside of things. So I think he had a, quite a good balance. As I said, he was he was pretty good for us. Um, and it's just, just unfortunate what happened, but you know, I think he's taken it as well as you can. It's just um, things like ha things like that unfortunately happen, and that's why um, an MND, um, I suppose, charity organisation is a great thing to have. And you know, there's many um, unfortunate diseases getting around there that affect a lot of families. So it's just a it's just a good thing to be able to be a part of. What about the body? Was it nice to have a, a bit of a break? It is a little bit, yeah. It's it's probably more a um, little bit of a mental freshener. I think you still need to make sure you're still running and um, ticking the body over. So that was good. We had a couple of days and then we came back and started again Wednesday and um, had a good session. Uh, sorry, started Thursday. A good session Thursday and Saturday and then a bit of skills today. Can you tell us? Well, just Liam Ryan, so if he's fit and ready to go, which yep. the coach sort of felt like he was a bit of a chance for next week, is he this type of player, even though he's only played a handful of games, that could come straight back into the lineup? Uh, well, I think there's potential with that, but that'll be, you know, it's just what the fitness staff deem, I suppose, what's the risk reward, the, the safety of it all. Um, he's been able to train pretty well the last two or three weeks, and probably just depends on body type and positioning wise, so that'll be something that'll be looked at. Um, normally when you've played you know, eight or ten years, you have a pretty good understanding about how your body reacts to breaks from football. Um, so I just don't know how that will go, but I'm, I'm sure he'll be putting his hand up and wanting to play. So yeah. Darling comes out, do you need to replace like for like, or because it's Sydney and it's a bit of a different ground, could yeah. you go a bit smaller? Uh, there's, I suppose there's arguments for both, both of them, mate. Um, I think, you know, Brandon's been playing some pretty good footy, um, Vardy's come back and played three games now, um, and then you know Petricelli played last week. Ryan's Ryan's hopefully available. So there's four players. I think it's always great if you um, replace a you know forward for forward and a back for a back as such. Can you tell us about Brander then? I mean, it seems the talk's been McInnes, maybe Brander as as well. Yep. Is he ready to go? Do you think if given the uh, chance? Oh, I think he would be. Yeah, and. We always try to encourage all players, even though it's first year or second year, sometimes it feels like it's a long way away, is um, always to be ready because you never know if there's going to be any injuries, might be two or three injuries and all of a sudden you're in line. Um, he understands the game well. Uh, I think he's had a pretty good work rate and he takes a good mark. So, so if you can do that in football, I think you're going to be okay. He's still got a lot to learn. But what he's been doing um, for the majority of the um, waffle in East Perth has been pretty good and pretty consistent. And playing at the SCG, you played there before, but you don't play there often. Yep. How much do you have to adjust your game style? Uh, yeah, I know it gets spoken about. It is a, it's a shorter, wider ground for sure. Um, and, you know, it's always, without being too too cynical about it, I've always been talking about, um, you know, when you're young, you're playing different ovals in the country and it never seems to be an issue, but you come up and you play Waffle and AFL and all of a sudden it is. So it, it, you do have to adjust because there is different spacings. Um, but we've been able to do that. I mean, Optus Stadium now is a bit wider. Um, training at Lath Lane's wider. Um, but really, it all comes down to how you use the ball, how you defend, and about the contest, pretty so much. In terms yeah. of the build up, um, coming up against Sydney the Friday night, it was a bit yep. build up in the Richmond game, I guess, but this is probably a, a bigger challenge or as much focus as you've had for the season. Yeah, it's, well, um, Sydney are in very good form, playing good football, uh, especially their past, well, past four or five weeks, they've been playing great. Um, so we understand it's going to be a really good challenge and yeah, I suppose it's just when you play football you want to be able to test yourself and play well against good opposition, Sydney you're playing well, how are we going as a team? So we look forward to that. Um, I understand that cliche type things but you know we're playing pretty good football, so are they. So yes, it's, yes it should be a good game but it's only if you have the right attitude and that's what we're making sure 
sure that we do. Just a quick one on your coach, you've just gone down the slide, but from him, what have you seen from him this year? Has he changed at all? Does he approach the group at all differently? He hasn't been spoken about much, but yeah. what have you seen from him? Um, well, I suppose each, each year you learn about yourself and um, your group as, as such. And, and well, the thing I think the coach has done really, really well this year is while it's still structured, there's still a bit of uh, flexibility in it with, with how to play the game. Now, it's all well and good to say this is how we want to play and this is the only way to play, but it seems to be a bit more flexibility. Yes, this is how we want to play, but if someone's free, kick it to him. Um, I think that really helps. And then <clears throat> Simo just understanding um, influence he can have on have on the playing group, but also giving a little bit of ownership as well, and um, that that works. So it's just about um, the the longer, I want to say longevity, the longer view that you have, because it's very easy in football to get caught up in the short term stuff and the each result. So I think this year as a whole, the club's been able to have a bit more of a. This is what we're trying to do. This is how we want to play, and it's not so much the weeks not not. If we win, it's going well. If we lose, it's not going well. Do you think the buyer has helped the team at all? I mean, you're on a pretty good roll. Yeah. Consecutive wins. Yeah. Oh, it's it's you just as I said, you don't know. I think I think sometimes from a playing point of view, it's great just to have a little bit of a, a, a freshener, um, especially when you're young. But, when, but you understand the importance of having to make sure that you um, still go for a run, still kick the footy, and still stay in footy mode as such. It's just, it's just an opportunity to get away from, from the club a little bit. Um, t time will tell. If we win, we'll probably say, yes, it was great to have a have a break. And if we're not, well, you lost momentum. But really, each week, you try to make sure we're playing good football. Um, it's a bit of a chance to think about, you know, what have we been doing that's been working? And then also, this is what we want to work on going forward. Lost in round one, only lost of the year. Can you talk about <laughs> what you've seen in the group development-wise in that period to this week? Yeah. Well, as the year's gone on, I think just better cohesion with um, working together with how to use the ball, how to defend, um, understanding more about team footy as such. So uh, we've had um, we've been fortunate enough a couple of times up forward, you know, Darling, Kennedy, Ryan, Lacroix, all those blokes are probably in form. So you make sure that you give them the best opportunity to score. Same in the midfield, someone's having a tough day, try to get them involved. Um, or you can always block for someone that's going really well and then down back working together. So I think when I've always talked about team footy, that's the type of stuff that I've um, been trying to, trying to get across. And I think blokes, just players, we just have a better understanding about how, we, how to um, nullify opposition strengths and how to um, also then how way we play, how we can best get through to score and, and stop. Has there been much talk with the playing group about that loss? Um... Uh, well, there hasn't been, no. No, there hasn't been. But players understand that you know, who, who you win and uh, who you beat and who you don't. So um, it was good. It's a bit, to, to remember that was a bit hard. All I know is Franklin kicked a fair few goals. So that's just that's just probably been the main difference. But I think our competitiveness has been been there for most of the year and we'll have to do the same stuff again Friday night. Just speaking about Buddy, I mean, you really tore you guys up in, in that season opener. How do yep. you approach it this week? Uh, it's, well, similar in ways you always try to against good opposition. So you need to make sure you're you know, um, good forward lines, good teams, but good players. You need to probably play them a um, bit more closer attention. But also at the same time, it's still a team effort in the back line. So about helping out where you can help out. And then other times it's just doing your job if it's a one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one contest. So, you know, McGovern's been playing good football now. He's found a bit of form. Um, Brass is always learning and doing a pretty good job. So they'll be the main two blokes. Um, and then it's just making sure that uh, the footy coming inside 50 is just... Um, I suppose not as clean. You just need to make sure it's a bit more rushed, a bit more high ball stuff. How, how scared does an individual or a team get when an individual performance like that happens? Oh, uh, you say scared or scared? Or scared. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I think it's just, I don't think it's too much. I mean, of course, if it happens over and over again, it can be a test of um, your attitude towards how you want to play football and how you go about things. Um, but I think that's another thing, I suppose, with Simo is. Uh, just over the past year and a bit, just understanding about not letting that worry you too much. So, you know, why did that result happen? How can I learn from it? How can I get better? And um, I think as a group, um, we've done well, but we'll have a few more tests coming up for the rest of the year. Was it just Buddy that day, or was it something that Sydney did that really cracked you guys open and he just made the um, most of it? Oh, man, I can't remember too much. Uh, look, what did he kick seven or eight goals? So he played, he played um, some pretty good football, but... 
we probably didn't work together as well as we could have. Um, so there's a couple of things to learn, but each game has throws up different things to learn, and uh, that's another thing. While we've been better this year, is because we're not just playing one way or want to play one way, we still adapt to the game. He did get a lot of one on one and marks and his goals came from one-on-one -on -one battles. So yep. you as a defender and one of the mates, do you need to not double team him, but need to be a bit more aware of, a bit more help? Well, there, yeah, there is a little bit of that. And then the good teams uh, realise that you're double teaming someone and then they try to use someone else. So that's that's the best thing about playing football and um, playing in a good back line against a good forward line is you have numerous different ways you can, they can score goals and we've got to stop that. So. As I said before, it's not about just playing one certain way. You need to slightly adapt. Um, good players find space, and I think also you know good players can shut down space. So that's probably one of the things it'll be about um, Friday night. Is before. Tommy the sort of player that likes to redeem himself or likes to get that chance again? Um, oh, from what I've seen, he's pretty competitive, and um, most people that play sport don't like to lose as such. Um, he's been pretty good. He hasn't really been spoken about too much as such. So I think Tommy will just approach it about um, as he normally does, so how to best stop the player he's going to be playing on. He'll probably learn from, from round one uh, about what he could have done better, but really it's just about backing your instincts in and playing playing good football. I know you don't like to look too far ahead, but you're probably looking, working a lot towards that by now that you're past it. Is there a sense in which, even though you've gone so well the first half, you sort of reset again and it's another mini season? Uh, yeah, once again, there's all those things. I think um, when I was younger, I, I probably thought like that. And now you get a bit older, I think it's just a continual continual thing about how you approach football. So, yes, halfway of the year's gone and we've got another half to go and we're going to have to play some good football to um, stay where we are, are in the top couple. So it is a little bit of a mini reset, but, you know, you... You, you slightly take some confidence, understanding what, you, what you're doing has been working, understanding about team football, how we've been training. So you don't really reset as such. You just probably tinker and just re, I suppose, re, refocus just a little bit. What about playing Friday Night Footy? Do any of the guys think about that? Do a few haircuts? <laughs> Uh, that, that, I don't know, mate. There's always a fair bit going on with um, haircuts. That's out of my league. I just, um, you know, I think players really enjoy um, playing football and playing against good teams and that's going to be the case uh, this week so you know if you played whatever night of the week I think I think we'd be pretty excited to play. And do you expect Shuey and Marston to come back in? Um, well, I think Shuey will be fine and then I'm not sure about about Masto um, we'll have another main session tomorrow and then just have to see how it goes but he's been training the last week and it's been going pretty well. You sit at the top now and you're pretty clear of the teams that are outside the eight. So the person would say you're set for the top eight unless there's a disaster. Do you now start focusing, OK, we've got to finish top four, top two? Uh, well, we've given ourselves a really good you know, starting platform as such. But really, the, the thing that you always try to do is make sure you qualify for finals first. And we'll be making sure we do that and then course there'll be more hurdles and more goals you want to do towards the end of the year depending on how it goes but um, from my point of view and, and from a player's point of view is just making sure we keep playing good consistent team football uh, if we do that I think we'll be able to get enough wins to qualify and then hopefully get enough that you can finish high up the ladder as you can um, so that'll be something that we'll keep keep trying to talk about because I think you can get caught up in uh, we, you know good chance to finish top and then you got home finals and then all the rest that goes with it so just need to make sure that we're doing what we're doing well in the moment. So the players need reminding not to get ahead of yourself. Ah, uh, I think it's in general in life. Sometimes you know when things are going really well, you think you, yeah, you think you're going really well. No different than if you're blackjack and you win three in a row. I'll win the next one. So it's just making sure that you you got the percentages in your favour. Understand what you're trying to achieve and doing them as well as you can. Sometimes you get beaten, but most of the time you, you should win. Mm -hmm.